Hello chaps and welcome back to Tino Core Care where I'll be showing you how to perform a pre-wash on your core. This is step 2 of how to wash a core series where I'll be teaching you how to wash a core like a professional. The pre-wash is one of the most important and underrated steps of the wash and one of the main ways to avoid swirl marks. As cores can usually contain a thick and hard film of dirt, road grime and contamination and pressure washing it alone usually fails to remove it. So if you are to miss the pre-wash stage and perform the hand wash, you are essentially scraping that dirt around the core causing scratches and swells. This is why you need to perform a pre-wash, as this step is designed to break down and loosen the dirt, allowing the pressure washer to blast it off with ease. Just look at that major difference as I only performed the pre-wash on the left side. There are three main ways of performing the pre-wash. The first method you can use is the dirt remover. You first dilute it with water either in a spray bottle or in a pump sprayer, which is quicker and more efficient. Next, all you need to do is spray it along the mid to lower portions of the core, and this will eat into that dirt very well, softening it and loosening it. Then you move on right away with the next step of the wash, which is the pressure wash. So there's no dwell time with this method. You apply it and remove it without letting it dry at all. Alternatively, if you do not have Tino dirt remover, you can use another pre-wash product or all-purpose cleaner. However, you must be very careful as they may be acidic or alkaline based and have the power to cause damage. And also, when dealing with stronger pre-wash products, you must avoid certain materials such as chrome or matte finishes as they could cause damage. Honestly chaps, just avoid acid and alkaline products altogether. The Tino dirt remover is a great option to use as it is pH neutral, extremely safe to use on a wide range of surfaces. The second method is using snow foam. It has not got the same level of cleaning power as the dirt remover, however, this is a safer method meaning that it can be used on the entire car. What you do is, cover the whole car in foam making sure you don't miss the lower portions and then leave it to dwell for a few minutes to loosen and break down the dirt. The trick here is to leave it as long as you can before it starts to dry. At which point you must move on to step 3 of the detail, which is the pressure wash. So during the summer, this dwell time will be considerably shorter as it is very hot. You would have less than a minute before it starts to dry up. At which point the pre-wash effect is degraded as the dirt will bake and dry onto the core. By the way, you do not need to use Artino colored snow foams. However, they do make the process much more enjoyable. Also, they can bring a lot of attention to customers to your business and give your current customers a great experience too. So if you are interested in purchasing some colored snow foams or any other car detailing products, head over to tinocarcare.com and don't miss out. The third pre-wash method, which works amazing, especially on very dirty cars, is to use dirt remover and then apply snow foam on top. This gives you the best of both worlds and is a personal favour of mine, as the pre-wash will loosen and break down the dirt and a snow foam will pull it away from the car. Also, the snow foam will give the dirt remover a longer dwell time, allowing it to do a job in a safer and more efficient manner without drying on the car. What you do is, spray on the dirt remover to the lower portions of the car and then cover the car in snow foam, leaving this to dwell for a few minutes before moving on to the next step of the wash, which is the pressure wash. Chaps, you are now Tina approved and the pro at performing the pre-wash, which is step 2 of our How to Wash a Car series. Click here for the next step, click here and watch the whole series and become a pro at washing your car.